what's going on guys this is Biron and I'm back with the new video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to make a GUI based password generator in Python as I told you in the previous video that I am going to create a GUI based Python password generator so let's do it open up the IntelliJ ID and we already create a project in IntelliJ ID in the previous video so right click new and then new add new Python file And then enter first of all we are going to import some modules random modules and then import tk enter tk enter allow us to create a gui based python application uh, and it is built in the standard library so we are going to use the tk enter but there are many other modules that allow you to create a gui based python application and I'm going to create a main window main underscore window is equal to tk enter dot tk and then main window dot title I'm going to give the title here goes pass or generator and then main window dot geometry we are going to give the size of this window and here goes 500 x 300 and we are going to define some pairing so pad is equal to 50 and we are going to give the padding of this window pad x pad x is equal to pad now we are going to create some uh, gui element that is uh, label and checkbox and then uh, text box and then finally button so first of all we are going to create a label so I am going to give the name of that label is title underscore text is equal to tk enter dot label and here goes text property we are going to use the text property and pass the value password generator and we are going to use the uh, geometry method that is uh, the grid so title text dot grid there are three methods that you can uh, use to insert this element inside the window they are pack place in the grid and row is equal to 0 comma column is equal to 0 and we are going to create a text box so display underscore result is equal to tk enter dot entry and we are going to add this elements in the window also so display result dot grid and here goes row is equal to one comma column is equal to zero and the another element that is checkbox so chk1 is equal to tk enter dot check button and we are going to give the text here goes six character six character and then we are going to give some on value is equal to 6 and then you can also give the of value property of value is equal to 0 and we are uh, giving the variable variable is equal to csk1 and later we are going to define those variables and csk1 dot grid and we are going to give row is equal to 2 column is equal to 0 and similar for 3 checkbox so I am going to copy this and paste and just rename those here goes CSK TW2 and text goes 10 character 
and then on value is equal to 10 variable name is equal to csk2 and then grid is equal to row is equal to 3 here goes csk2 and here goes csk3 and then here goes character 2 character here goes value 2 and then variable name csk3 and we also need to add this csk tsra3 and finally we are going to create one button so pass underscore g e n e r a t e is equal to tk enter dot button and we are going to give the text of this button is generate now add this button to the windows so pass generate dot grid here goes row is equal to oops here so the row must be 4 here so it be row is equal to 5 and C O L U M and column is equal to 0 and here so some error C S K 2 there you go now call this main loop methods and we are going to define those variables here so csk1 is equal to tk inter dot int bar and csk2 is equal to tk inter dot int bar integer variable csk3 is equal to tk inter dot int bar now let's see whether those variable are dictated or not uh, it seems happy so let's check our gui first right click run we must see our gui there you go text box check box three check box and one button now we are going to write the code in which if the user click generate we must uh, display the eight character length of password and if the user click this checkbox six character checkbox and click on generate we need to generate only six character of password so let's do it here i'm going to define some function so here so here i am going to define one function dep password password underscore g e n e r a t generate and i am going to define this function with the parameters so g length and inside that function we are going to uh, copy some code from the study tutorial so here i am going to copy this character and then I'm going to copy this line of code. Now uh, I'm going to uh, create another function. Uh, this function check if the checkbox is uh, checked or not. So checkbox underscore chck check and here if csk1 dot get is equal to 6 what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this function that is password generate and pass the length 6 else if csk2 dot get is equal to 10 if this checkbox is click we are going to call this function again and pass the length 10 else if chk3 dot get is equal to 12 we are going to again call this function 
and pass to bell else finally else none of this checkbox is checked we are going to generate the default password that is of length 8 now in order to call this function uh, uh, when the button is clicked we have one property of this button that is command C O M M A N D command is equal to just call this function name that is our function name is C H E C K box underscore check C H E C K B O X underscore C H E C K but you should not write those parentheses because uh, we need to only call the function not uh, return the value of the function so uh, only pass the function name without the parentheses and when this checkbox is sorry when this button is clicked what we need to do is we need to display the result into the uh, text box so in order to do so what we can do is inside this password generate method we need to write uh, we need to call this uh, text box that is let me see the name of that text box display underscore result display underscore result dot delete first of all we need to delete what uh, in the text box so tk enter dot end end and then we need to insert value so insert zero dot we are going to display password so password that's all now let's run it first of all i am uh, uh, going to generate the default password oh so we got error oh here i need to forget this g again run uh, i am going to generate the default password click on uh, generate there you go there is eight character uh, password and each time we click generate we get the different password now select this six character checkbox and click on generate we must get six character password length there you go again click this 10 character click on generate we must get 10 character and again click on 12 character we get 12 character of password length so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these amazing tutorials and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and click that bell icon so that each time we upload a new video you will get the notification and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye